So today we will have another activity with the convex lens. This is our stand. Simple activity we will do. Uh, you know that one of the activity you have to perform in your exam. So this is our convex lens of uh, the focal length approx 15 centimeter. This is our stand. So just we will keep it in front of a candle. And here we will study the uh, nature of the uh, images that is formed uh, on our screen. We have made a simple screen, right? Over a cardboard, we have pasted one white piece. So, this activity you can do easily, right? So, uh, what we'll do, we can find the approx focal length if you are doing it in the su sunlight. Just try to focus the sunlight over the wall and you try to measure this length, right? From this from this uh, lens to the screen this distance you measure and try to focus it uh, on a point so that will give you the approximate focal length so what here we can do is we can move this candle little far from uh, little far right so we'll keep it at a far place from the lens so now you can see um, this is our candle which is quite far from the our setup as you can see it's quite far right it's quite far so if the light is coming far away from the lens then uh, We'll try to focus it on the screen so you can see a shadow is here just we'll try to adjust it we'll try to make a pointed image like here so this is our approximate focal length because light is coming far away from it so parallel ray will converge because it's a converging lens the uh, mid portion is thicker thus edges are thinner this is a convex lens so it will converge the ridge the parallel ridge after the converge it will get converged and it will uh, form a point image here so this distance is our this distance is our uh, focal length basically focal length drop focal length of this uh, lens so we, which is the standard value approx to the standard value as of our uh, lens as the uh, it is a 15 centimeter uh, its focal length um, is 15 centimeter so uh, you can easily measure it and you can note down in the observation so this is an easy activity for you now two or three more reading you can take for different positions uh, one easy position is uh, that if we'll keep the object uh, on 2f it will form the image also at 2f same size inverted image right so just let me bring the our object that is the candle and fix at the double of this size distance right so let us see you can see this is the 15 so let me fix here which is approx 30 right so when the object is around 30 centimeter from the image uh, from the lens right so image also will be formed should form at 2f and inverted image you know that right so what you will do you just move the screen little bit away and check the inverted image yes now you see the inverted image and approx same size let me switch up the light let me switch up the light now it's clear more clear now you see the size of the image and also you can measure and in your observation the size of the image you can fix one graph paper here and you can also note down the size number one number two you can do uh, just keep it in a uh, just mark two position of this uh, image you mark here and here and measure with a scale the uh, height of the image and also height of the object you can measure uh, with your scale meter scale the height of the object 
so keep a paper here and you measure the uh, height of the object so you can see that height of the object and height of the image is approx approx same and a nice inverted image is formed around the same distance you can see it is approx same here from here to here it's approx uh, 30 and here to here also it's approx 30 centimeter right so you can see that you can write in your observation table that uh, object is at 2f image formed at 2f that means you you will measure with a meter scale this is your u object distance this is your image distance u and v one table you can make so for a different position you can find the image image uh, uh, also the position of the image now when i'll shift the object further away from the mirror a lens where the image will be formed the image will form in between your f and 2f if i will keep the object beyond 2f beyond 2f let's say beyond 2f so where the image will form i i'll move the screen away or towards the lens can you guess i have let me see let us see so i'll bring the screen towards that is let's say in between f and 12 which is approx 15 this is 30 approx 20 now you see a key clear image inverted image is formed but now you can see can you see one thing now image size is reduced little okay so the size of the image as expected from your ray diagram the size should decrease and further will bring it away and away thus image size will further decrease and decrease finally at far away the image will be formed at at the focus at the focus so that is what we are observing so this is your activity just fix the lens and fi fix your object a candle and fix your screen so a simple activity just what you have to do you have to note down the u and v and also if possible you can measure the image size also and you can note down the nature of the image nature you will write that this is an inverted image uh, for this position that is the object is in between 2f beyond 2f then the image is formed f and 2f so uh, in this case the diminished image and you can see the clearly it's an inverted image inverted inverted diminished right image formed in the on the screen right so what will happen if we we'll bring it more closer right so you can see if we will bring the object in between f and optical center the image will not be produced on the or you can say the real image will not be produced here in the right side the real images are formed so in this position the real image will not be formed you can take it in any position the screen real image will not be formed a virtual image and large image will be formed in this same side left side so you can go to the opposite side and you can see a enlarged candle will be only visible nothing else so you can see you can see through the lens you can see try to see through the lens you see the lens lens is uh, lens so the lens one try to see the candle you see the image is quite bigger right a virtual image is found in this case here image you will not able to obtain on the screen right so this is what the different positions you are getting uh, for different size of the image and at a different distance you are getting uh, also uh, the real image and virtual image so this is for con convex lens uh, you can do the similar procedure for your concave mirror also follow the similar procedure thank you see you in the next video